Hello guys, it is Shifty Gaming here. I will be telling another night bed night story. Now I make more sense. I've hit 108 views, I think, on my video. So I've made up the story. It's not a creepy pasta. It's called Under My brother's bed so it's quite not no, noisy because my uncle lives in a giant house so and there's a he lives right next to a train track so it's kind of a story one night i was at my brother's house well me and my mum well my dad and my mum had a fallout and they divorced my mum took my brother my dad took me me and my dad were quite wealthy because my dad worked for Minecraft. <sighs> well, when I was riding to my brother's, um, he has this like up bed. He always sleeps at the top just because he's an idiot. Well, I love him lots and he's gone now. Sorry, stupid aeroplanes! Well, sorry. I, 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 I don't know how to explain it, but I was getting dressed and my brother was getting dressed and I wanted to record something for my Instagram and Vine, like, the girls go walking down the street and it'd be like this, I hell no, I'm not wearing all that jumpers. Sorry, I just really like Vine. Well, I saw this clown just looking at my brother with a knife. It's it's scary, right? It, it it's scary to just see a clown. Just scary, man. It just game over. So when uh, um the next night we had um roast turkey. Roast turkey, and it was Thanksgiving, about a week after I saw the clown, and, well, this happened. Well, I went upstairs to go get my charger for my phone. There he was, the clown, sitting under the bed saying nothing, just smiling at me. I ran downstairs, told my mum, she ran up, and I closed the door behind us for her because I was too afraid. And it's been a day. After that, she didn't come out of the room, and I was like, uh, how could it be a day in it's just scary, man. And, well, my brother decided to go and check on my mum. <laughs> I went in with him, one of the most hard decisions I could make. Look after my little bro, or get murdered by a clown with him. And, well, that did happen. I I went in the room. My mum was still alive, but chained to the wall with scratches all over her. And she said, look, look behind you. Watch out, he'll do it to you too. What a caring mother would say. He threw a knife, we ducked, but unfortunately it hit my mother's head. And the clown started to laugh. One day I'm gonna get that stupid beep and I'm gonna whack his face, punch him, and get his life, and call him a hobo what does not deserve to kill people. Sorry, this actually happened. Well, it's, it's very alarming when you just. It's hard to explain it. 
you turn behind you with fear because you just saw your mother. It, it's just scary, and when when I turned around, he he was there, uh, and he said to my brother, "Come on, let's get some candy." And my brother loves candy, so I started to jump around saying, banana, 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 koala bear. Oh, and then, please don't make this racist. Koala bear, koala bear, yay, koala bear, yay, yeah, yeah, koala bear. And then um, the clown took her by the neck and threw him on the wall six times and got an axe and threw it on him. <laughs> It was disgusting to look at, but uh, he he came to me next. But luckily, my mum had this little, like, floor next to our window, and there was a slide down it for my brother and me, and I jumped out the window, went down the slide, ran to my neighbour, asked them to call the police. The police force came round straight away from what I told them and um, they went in the house the bodies weren't there the clown wasn't there it, it, it's just like it didn't happen my brother was there my mother was there could have this been an hallucination I don't know but maybe it could happen to you